Hello and welcome back to another vlog of A Season in Hell. Hello and thanks for watching and thanks for tuning in. Uh, and if you're tuning in again, thank you for watching. And if you're tuning in for the first time, I feel I'm going to do a little bit of a summary because there is a lot uh, to sift through if you've just come to the project for the first time. So we're going to do a quick little introduction just to recap on where we are with the film and the project. So uh, the film is called A Season Hell and it's a science fiction uh, horror independent film about a TV gardener who discovers that uh, a TV gardener played by Michael Parle who discovers that the garden he's working on uh, is no ordinary garden that it's actually controlled by aliens who are here from another planet uh, here to learn more about our planet before they take over and Harry has to kind of defeat the aliens and overcome his own fears and um, it's an exciting project and uh, it'll be a really great film I think so we shot for uh, four weeks last summer of summer 2020 of 2022 and we shot for another two weeks of the summer just uh, gone in August and um, now I've finally been able to put some of those scenes together that have been separated for so long like last year when we were missing so much footage when I came back we we're missing so much so this vlog is going to be about the process of finally rejoining those scenes that have been long separated and putting them back together um, and it's been really great to be able to do that um, when I came back from shooting last year much the same position I had a lot of footage a lot to sift through um, but basically I was just editing them and editing them as per the script uh, dictated and then dumping those scenes on the timeline but I wasn't able to do any real editing uh, in terms of pacing or overall narrative um, but when I've come back this year uh, and since September or over September um, I've been I was doing a little bit of that I was editing scenes individually going this then this then this and then I kind of realized that at a certain point at start of October that I can actually cut a massive portion of the film together and that's been really exciting and that portion is what this vlog is going to be about so the portion that I've been really working on the last month is what I've started to call the kind of mystery section of the film and it basically happens in the first half an hour of the film and it's about uh, Harry basically discovering the alien plot um, and there's a lot to get through in that section so the plots we need to set up are we need to introduce Brian and Sarah and Harry interacting with them we need to set up the garden plot Harry working on the garden seeing the garden working on it and then bringing some plants in there um, you need to um, introduce Sean uh, Donegan uh, has to be in there his character is Stanley played by Sean Donegan he has to be in there um, and he'll play a greater role in the other acts of the film and you need to have the alien plot gradually increasing um, as Harry's paranoia and suspicions increase that gradually this plot gets more and more pushed forward and you also need the plot of Harry and his disintegrating friendship with uh, Ben his producer played by uh, Connor Dwan um, so we did a lot of pickups for this section in block two because uh, I felt it was very weak and missing some crucial information um, last year in the stuff that I did edit together the main thing that I really wanted to correct from last year to this year uh, was actually some props so last year we didn't really get enough of a sense of the camera crew following Harry around and the behind the scenes stuff we shot wasn't great we didn't have enough people and so this year for the pickups for the reshoots um, I was able to get hold of a, a, a monitor and a prop camera and have those on set so it really sold the idea of the TV crew setting up in Brian and Sarah's house and doing a number of takes and interacting with Harry and so you can see here the comparison shots between last year when we had the behind the scenes stuff um, with, no, with not enough props and not enough crew to this year where we had a bit more crew we had the camera the monitor and I also tried to make a lot of, of effort as often as I could to have someone walking past the background carrying something or just walking just to really make it look busier and that there was more crew than there really was so one of the scenes uh, that we've really put a lot of work into in that sequence 
is when Harry uh, and and uh, Ben are in the hotel room after first day of shooting. That's gone through a whole metamorphosis in the editing room. To really film a conversation and to make it convincing that two people are talking and that the pauses are correct, what they would be in real life, and that they are actually responding to what the other person, and not just reciting dialogue from a script, but they're actually reciting and reacting to what the other person is saying is really difficult and that the camera is in the correct position um, and capturing it as efficiently as an audience wanted to be captured in order to understand that scene um, is so important but fortunately in the scene I think we spent a whole day last year uh, shooting that scene in the hotel room and it was originally like five minutes long you know probably longer maybe even seven but it was certainly five minutes long and that's come down to about two minutes so there's so much Little stuff again that we cut out of that. This is great. This is great stuff. Just for the program, the young, fresh couple to get us back on our feet. Harry, you were great today. You excited? Yes. So there's been a lot of uh, pauses shortened down. There's been a lot of uh, lines cut. Um, and it, it's changed a lot and everything, you know, and some, some lines are cut and then put back in again. It's a process, you know, as you take something else out, you realize something you took out a couple of days before it needs to go back in. Um, so that's been a process, but it's been a really, like I say, uh, rewarding and enjoyable uh, process. Okay, so here's an example of a clip that I'm, of the kind of editing that I'm doing. So here's a scene from the mystery sequence, scene 21, uh, where Brian, played by Giles Brody, comes out. And as he comes out, you can see if we zoom in here, that yeah, just there's a, lo a, a lot of dead air just there where nothing's happening. So we're just going to get rid of that, basically. You know, keep the pace moving, keep it going forward. Uh, and just nothing that doesn't need to be there, nothing that's not going to add to it. Pauses are important, but in this case, we don't need that pause. We're just going to get rid of it. Uh, I'm just going to add a frame, I think, to um, match that up. And uh, yeah, that's it. So now he comes out and yeah, that's it. Cool, so hopefully that's given you just an update on where we are with the project. And I don't want to go into spoiler territory with the film, but I do want to do a kind of a deep dive into, into you know, all the work that goes on in, into making a film. And so hopefully I'm trying to balance that as much as I can. And um, like there's so much footage there, so much like I found a scene that I've no memory of shooting or even having in the script last year in, in the drives a couple of days ago where Harry's talking about companion planting in the garden. Um, there's so much alternative footage with the with the aliens, you know, and as we've gone on the journey to try and figure out how to do them, but I'm going to do a whole other vlog on that probably after Christmas. And there's just so many takes, you know, take after take after take while you're going through the footage. But I think, you know, going through the mystery sequence, having all that footage is fantastic and being able to craft it slightly differently and slightly alter performance a little bit faster, or a little bit slower, increase the pauses has been so fantastic. And I think every time, I think when you see the film, every time you see a shot, I think you, you can tell that's not take one. You know, every time you're seeing a shot in this film, it's probably take five, you know, probably minimum take five. And um, I, th I think the highest takes we did was 11 takes on one pretty random thing. I think that, I think that was the, the highest. But probably average five takes. Um, that's probably the average amount of takes we did. So you're probably watching roughly take five in every shot. Um, so it's starting to feel a lot more cohesive, a lot sleeker, and a lot more fluid um, from a watching point of view. So the mystery sequence uh, is really coming together. And um, after that, I'll be working on the next sequence, which is... Uh, Harry transitioning from being at the house to being more in the woods um, and going from the first act into the second act um, and it would be great to do another vlog before Christmas so hopefully I will and I will aim to do one uh, before Christmas but you know it's already November practically um, 
uh, and just time is running away and there's so much other stuff I have to do before Christmas and I'm still doing my learning kids animation series and I might do a vlog or a little talk about that in one of the next vlogs and hopefully that'll be done after Christmas as well and I have five episodes to do that so I'll hopefully share that and talk a bit more about that but uh, in the meantime thank you for watching stay tuned and chat soon